Hey, what's up, everybody? This is DJ Keel, and today I want to talk about streaming and Serato in particular. Before we get into that, please like and subscribe. Hit the comment section down below. Have a while with the algorithm. And if you'd like to support the channel, you could buy something from my t-shirt shop at teespring.com, DJ Keel store. And if you are absolutely dead broke and you want to support the channel, you can just let the ads play. All right, let's get into this. So about, I guess, two weeks ago, I made a video about uh, streaming services and my thoughts about why I believe uh, DJ companies and hardware need to come up with solutions to support DJs. Uh, we're in this weird space where most people can't play out anymore. And, and so like they want to reach their fans and fans want to hear music, but we don't have that, that thing that we can go to and we can't do functions. It's just a whole mess. Partly because of the coup for the beer virus. Just, things are just an absolute mess. And so I made a, a passionate plea uh, to DJ companies and to brands and to the streaming services that we use that they work together and come up with solutions to help DJs play music for the masses. And Serato... Uh, I don't. I wouldn't say they listen to it, but like I, I would say this though, I like to say that my YouTube channel is in the forefront before things, and we definitely. I like to talk about things that I think are going to happen and put myself in the consumers' base as well as you know the companies uh, in their shoes. I should say, and you know when, when I'm talking about stuff, I'm talking about from their perspective what I think is going to happen, what I want to happen. And how I like this stuff to play out. Um, so, you know, I talked about this in advance. And Serato listened. And they've come through with two things. Uh, the first thing is that for the for the YouTubers and, and, and Twitch streamers and, and Mixed Cloud streamers and all these other people who are doing this stuff. People using backgrounds. Serato is supplying free backgrounds to all the users. And it, it's not just for Serato users. Anybody who wants to use it, you can get access to this stuff. The second thing they did is that they did a plugin for Twitch, which puts up the music and song information from your, your setup onto the screen. So it's like an extension that you install onto your computer. And I think this is great. <laughs> and it, it, this, it solves the stuff that I was talking about in the ProLink video. So if you haven't seen that, you can go back and watch that. And I was talking about the fact that, you know, we need tools and a lot of people are, are just making the tools on their own just to get to the point where they can make this thing work and, and to make the your stream more interesting. Because, you know, let's be honest. And honestly, I from my perspective, looking at a DJ on a green screen is boring to me. I honestly, I would rather you know, just get the mix, the music. I'd rather just have listen to the music and the audio versus seeing somebody DJ because I know what it looks like. <laughs> I am boring to watch. I'm just t twisting knobs and I'm doing like this and I got my headphones on. I am boring to, it's an absolute boring show. And one of the reasons why I don't want to get into streaming, it, it is a boring show. I'm just going to be like this and then I'm going to be like, uh, no, and then I'm going to, that's it. <laughs> That's all I'm going to be doing. I'm going to talk in the mic a little bit, but my overall presentation is going to be boring. And, and that's why a lot of DJs are doing the green screen and doing all this other stuff. I have a green screen. I'm just never going to use it. <laughs> you got to light it correctly, otherwise it looks terrible. And I, because I know that, I just not gonna, I'm not going to get into that. But anyways, I don't, it doesn't, it doesn't interest me, but for the people who do, who are trying to come up with a better presentation. These are the tools and the kind of stuff you need. And I appreciate Serato for listening to the customer base and saying, hey, we're going to come up with solutions for you guys. Like, honestly, I appreciate that. And we need more companies who are doing stuff like that and looking out for the people. So I, did, I had to make sure it's still recording. <laughs> it didn't look like it was recording for a second. I think the other thing that you probably need to add is that I feel... And, and this is just my personal opinion about this. So some stuff I get wrong, some stuff I get right. And, you know, some things I have a little background information that I can't, I'm not privy of talking about. And, you know, on that part. But, like, you know, 
I'm not just talking out of my ass on a lot of these things. Uh, I feel like uh, Twitch is going to make some moves to make DJs' lives easier. I think they realize that there's a huge uh, demand for DJs who are on the platform. And a lot of big-name DJs are on the platform. So it, it would make sense that Twitch would try and uh, work together with these DJ platforms and the DJs themselves to to make your life a lot easier streaming and this kind of thing. Um, so, you know, we'll see how this turns out. Like, at the end of the day, Mixcloud is the safest place to be. Twitch is probably the best place to be as far as the platform and the tools and this kind of stuff like that. And YouTube is where all the people are. <laughs> so, I mean, like, when you break it down, like, everything has the pros and cons. Uh, some of these are better than others, but, you know, everything's missing something. There's no perfect solution. I, I made videos about that already, so you can go back and, and look at the other videos I made about Twitch. It looks like the people at Twitch are realizing that this is probably important, and uh, they're trying to get ahead of it. And, and see, the thing is, though, when people realize their stuff is going on here, people are using your platform for a certain thing, companies that are smart adjust and make changes to accommodate these things. Other companies who aren't smart just say, screw it, and we don't care what happens to the people. But, like, Twitch needs people. And the platform is competing with YouTube and Facebook Live and Instagram and Mixcloud and all these other things. Like, this space is not solidified. There is no clear-cut winner in this space. So I think it just makes sense that these kind of platforms would try and work together and accommodate people. But you know what? We'll see. So now my hope is that all the other companies, Tractor, <laughs> Recordbox, I believe Virtual DJ has tools for this stuff. So we, got, we have to add, it's no longer the big four. We have to add Algorithm DJ into this mix as well. And so I would say it's the big 4.5, maybe. You know, give them a year or two and they're going to make a run for their money, man. It, it, honestly, they these guys are doing some good stuff here. So anyways, this is not about them. This is about Serato and Twitch. And, you know, I appreciate these companies who are listening to the fans and trying to do come up with solutions for them and make their product more valuable to these people. Because, you know, people are doing streaming stuff. You need this. You need OBS. Sometimes you need two different computers. And it's a whole production. And so any little bit helps. And so providing backgrounds, helping you guys do uh, the information for what songs you're playing, all these things, I appreciate this. Anyways, I wanted to do a short video on it. Not too long. Um, yeah. Let me know what you guys think about this. Is this something you would use? Do you even care? All the streaming DJs, because I do have some people that stream on the platform. Uh, I don't... I don't know all of them are using Serato. I think some, only a, a few of them are using Serato. But if you are, uh, let me know if this interests you. If you want to use one of these backgrounds or whatever, this kind of thing, you know, leave a comment below. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please uh, like, subscribe, and uh, peace out.